An elderly widow in Nanaimo says she is falling through the government cracks, being left to fend for herself after being injured in a serious fall. The 80-year-old lives on a fixed income but was forced to pay more than $1,000 in medical expenses when she broke her ankle. She says she appealed for help and was turned down by the government. But after A News started asking questions about the case, the province began investigating. Stephen Andrew has the story. That's just one lot that I take a day. Iola Floyd knows pain. She lives with it every day since a car crash in 1975 destroyed most of the muscles on her left side. She has been disabled ever since. And last December, more pain when the 80-year-old fell and broke her ankle. Down I went and, and I just told her over, I need help. And then we had two uh, fire rescue and one um, fireman there and they came running over and uh, they got the uh, bleeding stopped, the bone was sticking right out. Uh, they had to cut my shoe off, but uh, they stayed, They were with me right till the ambulance came. Erna Floyd came here to Nanaimo Regional Hospital where surgeons reset her ankle. Unable to walk, she had to be driven home in an ambulance, complete with a list of medical supplies she says she was told to purchase. Well, I had to buy the air cast. That's $184. I had to buy the heel support it was $125. Then came shoe inserts and special shoes, a thousand dollar bill that Floyd believed the BC government would pay. And they said that uh, they, as far as they knew I was no longer covered, that it had been changed. To pay the bill Floyd says she went into debt, paying it off slowly over a few months. I stayed home, uh, I, I didn't want to use any more gas and I had to things that's once a day and those pills Floyd takes for pain she says they're not covered under pharmacare costing nearly six hundred dollars a month leaving her only with four hundred a month for living expenses to be truthful right now uh, for the last year and a half I haven't been eating too much so it's been it helps a uh, pocketbook Nanaimo's MLA believes most British Columbians would be shocked to know help wasn't there for a senior with a catastrophic injury. The government has to look at the policy very quickly and say, look, this is exactly the kind of person that British Columbians think should be protected in a situation like this. Um, Iola Floyd deserves uh, to be compensated for obvious expenses that she had to pay out of her pocket uh, in order to literally survive. Floyd says she'd be happy if the government only paid half of the expenses. The government tells A News ministry officials will be contacting Iola Floyd and it is looking into the case. In Nanaimo, Stephen Andrew, A News. And an update on this story, Iona Floyd says she has had several phone calls from ministry officials offering help. We'll have an update tomorrow.